we are walking Hi. a little bit of relations. We're down here downtown and we're going to feed some of the uh, homeless down here. Uh, there's a lot of immigrants down here and a lot of other folks, alcohol, drug addicts. I mean, and it doesn't even need to be that. It can just be anything just in a tight spot, you know. It's expensive to live right now. Things are horrific and uh, there is a, a lot of mental illness, spiritual illness that needs to be healed in the, in the city, not just feeding families but minds as well. So. Uh, we're out here uh, doing what we can to help others. And, uh, we love you. You can check us out on Walker Road Revelation, Walker Road uh, videos, holistics. We're on YouTube, uh, TikTok, but uh, we just want to get the message out and show you you can do this too. So you can go out and feed others and help others. Okay, just know that. It's that simple. Pull up. Uh, you know, get yourself a little food cooked ahead of time, whatever it might be. Uh, some coffee and donuts or water or whatever and pray for them you know ask them say hey you want some prayer today you know, get together with them do what you can so, uh, it's a great day to help your fellow man
He will come live in you and he'll help you live that life. He'll give you the synergy and energy you need. He'll give you that living, simple, childlike faith. And that's all that's required is simply believing as a child that God is a loving, loving Father and that he loves us with a beautiful, infinite love that never runs out. Things in this world run out. But our Father God, his love never runs out. It's an energy. It's a power. And without that power, that power to love and be loved, bad things can and they do happen usually. Most of the time. 90%. Write that down. 90%. Write that down. But if you follow Jesus and try your best, 90% of the time, good things follow you. And even that 10% of that bad stuff that follows you will be used for your good. How about that? Many times the last or first and the last and the first or last, Jesus says. So it don't matter when you come. Which part, brother? I can't remember. I never remember. And that's right, write this down. Jesus said that the true goodness is is not conscience of itself. It's more like the left hand not knowing what the right hand does. It's the unconscious of itself. We just do it because that's what we do. We don't do it to get a ticket to heaven or a ticket to church or status or any of that. Or a better citizenship in the, in the social things of the world. This Jesus stuff is separate from all that. It, it's a spiritual thing. I don't know if you know what spirit is, but that's a different reality. It ain't from this world. And it's actually more real than this world. How about that? This is the real stuff you can't prove. Like, you love your mama, don't you? But you can't prove her, right? The only proof we got about love is our lives. How we treat each other. That's what Jesus brings us. That ability to do it. Not just hear about it. Not just raise our hand and say, I want it. But to get out there and take it. You got to take this gospel. Or it'll take you and it'll crush you. But you, sometimes you need to get crushed. Because you make some wine into it. Uh, some grapes into wine. My name is Richard. Richard, Richard Van Stinson. But that's what happens. Van Stinson. We're on Facebook. Walker Road Revelations. Look us up, brother. Walker Road Revelations. TikTok. Walker Road Revelations. And what that word means is Walker Road means you got to walk on the road. What's a road? It's a person, not a book. You can't have fellowship with the Bible, but you can have fellowship with the living word, the person of the book. Jesus, God is a person. This kingdom is personal. And if it ain't personal, it's social. If it's just in your head and not in your heart, then it, it, that's where you'll live, in your head. And that's just the gate to spirit. You're going to camp out there, huh? You're not going to cross that bridge? Our mind is loaned us for a season. And you get a new mind in the next life. And you'll understand the things you didn't hear. So it's okay to not understand everything, to be a human being. It's okay to not have the answers on everything. As long as we got the spiritual ones, God is a father. Man is your brother. Father lives in you. He's desiring to adjust your thoughts. It's our thoughts that lead us Godward, Godward heavenward, not our feelings. Our feelings betray us many times, guys. Y'all know this. It's true. Yeah. And when I say write this down, I mean in your heart. Like Jeremiah said, on the tablets of his heart, he spoke these things, you know. we got to be some living heroes of the gospel of Jesus. Yeah, people are going to let us down, but there's one human, the Son of Man, who won't. The Son of Man is the Son of God, too. Jesus, that human being will never let you down. Our brothers let us down, and it, and it hurts us, and it makes us hard. Our hearts get hardened, and we don't want to hear nothing about the good things no more. Yeah. Yeah, your best friends, your, your uh, wives, your husbands, your brothers, sometimes they betray us in this world. That's why we got to have a spiritual partner that is never let us down. Never, ever, ever. Never let us down. Because he's real. He's personal. He's gay. He don't care if you're straight. He don't care if you're Republican. He don't care if you're Democrat. Jews don't care about none of them labels that we give everybody. Write that down. Hey. Happy birthday. Praise God. 
I'm glad he brought up birthday because that's what you got to have with Jesus. Born into this family. You can't just, you almost, you don't even recognize it till you're born into it. You can't even see it almost. You're like, well, that sounds lovely, but that ain't for me. Yeah, baptized. That's right. You got to be baptized in the spirit. Not, not necessarily somebody putting water on you, but where that spirit is poured on you. If you believe in that water, then do it. And let that water activate your spirit. And what's required, river, the living water is visible. God is good. Take it with you today. We've got some chili up here. Come eat with us. Come pray with us. We love you. We don't know you, but we're just going to get to know you on our way. Lord, you know, we come out here. This is our church. This is how we do it. This is our service. Right on the streets here. Jesus is my pastor. Don't follow me, brother. Careful, right? <laughs> Don't follow your preacher. Don't follow your daddy. Don't follow your friends. Follow God. Follow God. Praise God. Woo!
I just want to thank you today. Thank you. I want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for giving us this opportunity to come out here today to serve. I want to thank you, God, for the things that you've done in my life today. I am not who I used to be. Jesus, you said, behold, I do a new thing. And in me, you have done that new thing. I am not who I used to be. There was a point in my life where I thought I had all the answers. I thought I had it all together. I thought things were really too bad. I think uh, in our lives as human beings, we can get complacent. We can get complacent in those tough times. We can get complacent in the darkness. We can get comfortable in it. That constant need, that constant want, that constant fear. I want you to know today that you don't have to fear anymore. Scripture says, for we have not been given a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. If you own that fear, and you feed it, you water it, you let it grow, and it roots in deep. Sometimes it takes a uh, pretty rough and tough situation to get us out of that. Sometimes it takes a reaping and a sowing and a pruning. I want you to know today that God is there for you when you're ready for that, for whatever it might be that, that has 
no longer served its purpose for you. Those things in our, in our lives that we used to escape, escape the fear, the resentment, the anger, the unforgiveness, the worry, the shame, the regret, the remorse, the comfortableness in the darkness. You, just as I am, and my husband is and Robert here, is a child of God, the creator of heaven and earth, the creator of all of this around here, all of it. That is who your daddy is, your divine father. And maybe today is the day to come home to him because he's waiting for you. He loves you and he misses you. And somebody out there has turned and walked away, set it all aside to try to hide from the pain. I need you to understand that God does not. I repeat, God does not create horrific, horrible, rotten, nasty, evil situations in our life to tempt us, to trial us. I need you to know that. That's not from God. We have been given free will. We choose the choices that we make. Today is the day to be able to rise above that, to choose Jesus, to choose the path, to choose the way. If you go to God and you're ready in your heart and willing to make those changes necessary in your life, I promise you, you will be set free today from the little things and the big things. And this happens for us in a process. It is a process. God's waiting each and every day. Every day is a new day, a fresh day. It doesn't matter about tomorrow, and I need you to know that he loves you right where you're at. He doesn't care how intoxicated you are. He doesn't care if you've got ego or pride or jealousy or wrath or any of those things. Got a little bit of vanity. He don't care. It's all the same. I don't know if you know this or not, but doubt, you know, is, is a sin. It's an error. It's not believing that God is going to take care of you, get all your needs met, and that he can do it, and he will do it. He is the God who was, who is, and is to come. He is in you in your pain, and he is in you and with you in your joy. You can trust him today. Praise God. Okay, we're out of here. Before we leave, though, I will remind you. Everything you heard today, the spirit of truth, Jesus will remind you of those things after we're gone. If they were true, if they were holy, praise God. He records, a great recorder records everything. Praise God. Hey, brother, you take care of yourself. God bless you on your journey. Amen.